Now to install a custom ROM on the Realme GT2 provided you have already unlocked the bootloader. First thing is to enable developer options. So that go to settings, about phone and tap the build number a couple of times. Enter your password. Now go back, go to system settings, developer options and turn on USB debugging. Once that's done, going back to the PC, I have downloaded all the required files. You can see you have to extract the platform tools fo folder and then move all the other files into the extracted platform tools folder. So let me take that there. So after that, just hit the address bar and type CMD and hit enter. This will bring up your command prompt. So keep these side by side as you will be needing both of it. Now plug your phone into the laptop with USB and in the command prompt type adb space devices and hit enter. So it will show a starting prompt and in your phone you will also get a prompt asking you to allow it. So click on always allow and hit allow. You can see that the first time we have tried it is showing unauthorized. Now press the up arrow on your laptop to bring the same command again. So now it should show device in, instead of unauthorized it should show device. So it is connected via adb. For the next step we will be typing adb reboot bootloader. I will be hitting enter. So soon as I hit enter the phone went uh, switched off and now it's in bootloader mode. Now we will be switching from adb to fastboot command. So type fastboot devices. Hit enter. So you can see it is showing our device as fastboot. So now it's simply a matter of flashing everything. And we have four files. First we'll be flashing the vendor boot. For that type fastboot flash vendor underscore boot. So after we have typed fastboot flash vendor boot just enter one space and basically you just have to click and drag the vendor boot file which will just paste the location of the file and just press enter so it is sending vendor boot similarly we have to flash all the others just make sure you type it correctly so vendor boot is flash now let's flash dtbo fastboot flash dtbo space just click and drag the dtbo location here and hit enter dtbo is sent now we have to flash boot, fast boot, flash space and I am just clicking and dragging. So now it's sending my boot file. So as soon as the boot is sent, we have to reboot to recovery. So from our recovery, we'll be doing the next step. So the command is fast boot, reboot, recovery and hit enter. Soon as I do that, the phone should reboot to recovery. So from here, we have to click apply update apply from adb so it will show now send the file using the adb sideload command so going back to the laptop just type adb sideload and similarly i'm just going to drag the rom file project blaze and hit enter so now it will show as serving and the phone will also show a similar message verifying package so now we will just wait so this will take a while so better uh, hang on and once it reaches around 40 something percentage, it will stay there for a while. So don't panic and uh, do not remove your USB or something when it uh, stays stays in one uh, particular percentage for a long time. Let it be and I will show you <coughs> what happens next. So while the laptop is still showing 47 percentage, our phone is showing a new prompt, which is uh, to install additional packages. It is asking us to reboot uh, the recovery to which I will give no as of now. So it will show step 2 <coughs> and installation complete. So here we have installed a ROM and here is where uh, the procedure dif uh, differs. Um, like if you are switching to a new ROM or you are uh, coming from the stock Realme uh, UI to a new ROM, uh, you always have to do go to factory reset and uh, do the format data. But now I am just updating the ROM so I am not doing it right now. I want to retain my data. So I am going back and always restart the recovery once. Go to advance and reboot to recovery. Just wait for the recovery to uh, boot up once more. So now I will just restart to my ROM. So reboot system. So yes, that is a successful flash. And that is how you flash or update a custom ROM on the Realme GT2.